Hi, today's Ellen here, and I am working on something I've been threatening to do, and that is to make a coffee table book of some of the great photos that I think are great anyway, that I take with my Canon camera of sort of nature shots. I go on a lot of hikes, and I love to look, like take photos of up in the trees or fun angles, and they're all nature. And I am, I thought it would make a really fun gift. I thought of it because my mom went on a hike with me, a couple of the hikes with me, and we took some really cool pictures, and she really loved them too. So I thought it'd be fun and inspiring to have a coffee table book that I can give to her or keep at home um, because nature inspires me. So um, I went to my one of my favorite sites, the Walmart Photo Center site, and I haven't made a photo book on here in a really long time, but I really love how easy it is. So um, here you can see where there are different choices along the top, um, you know, collages, calendars, all sorts of stuff. But I'm going to choose photo book for this purpose. And I decided I want to make a custom cover. Um, I'd like it just to be pure, simple photos. I mean, there's lots of different choices in here that I could choose. Um, I want it to be a little bit smaller for this one. And there are all these choices. Look at this. You can make like, um, do snapshots. You can do... Um, some other des cute designs with a different colored back covers, but what I wanted to do was a solid black cover So I found that option here in the bottom for a full photo and then I move on to the next stage which I'm doing right here and There are lots of different layout designs and I've used some of these before I really love them They're simple and a lot of them are really elegant a lot of them are playful and fun um, I'm going to go with a more classic look because I'm probably going to mostly put full photos in there and not have them be sort of the corners or the designs. It does ask me if I want to autofill, which I'm going to say no thanks because I have these in a bunch of different folders and I really want to be able to hand choose how I'm putting them in. So now is where I go to the photo I want to use for the cover. You can see it's loading all, all, a whole pile of photos that I just um, have been uploading along the way. And what I'd like to do is to use this one on a cover, which is also one I used on a poster, but that is going to be really cool. Um, you can see the sun glinting through. So here on the pages, again, um, I, I can go through Edit Tools and choose Layout. And what I really want is to use a layout that has a full cover. But look at all the choices you can do for layouts. I mean, a full page. I can choose all sorts of layouts, but the one I want to do, and I can drag it right in. I love this option is a full photo. So I'm now going to go back to my photos and start choosing some of my favorite ones to put in here. Um, you know, I love the colors. Look at that. That's a tree stump. And I can go through, whoops, again, I need to go into choose layout and drag in the full picture. So there's a lot of um, custom things I can work in here. And I can just pull them in like that and then go back to my photos. This is really easy navigation. It's very intuitive, which um, is necessary for me. Um, the light was perfect. It was beautiful toward the end of the day. So you can see how I'm just pulling photos in. This is gonna be really a fun book. Um, and when I'm done, um, I don't know if you noticed the price, but it was only like uh, under $30, $28 to make a 20 page book of some of the photos I like to take. So it's like I can publish my own book all on my own and for $30. So um, I will show you the finished product when I receive it in the mail. And in the meantime, uh, check out the Walmart Photo Center site in the Canada site for really cool options for stuff you can make with your photos. Thanks. 